Yes, hello. Today I'd like to make a short tutorial on how to get the uh, CDU working for the X-Plane 777 from Flight Factor, not only in the simulation itself, but as well on an iPad. The thing is, as soon as you start the simulation and you have totally loaded the aircraft, you are able to access the CDU for the Boeing 777 via any kind of browser. If it is on your tablet, if it is on your PC, on your Mac, you can access the CDU for prompting and altering data in the CDU with any tablet, which is really great. First of all, we have to find out under which IP address our computer is listening. So, um, there is one way in Windows 7, for example. You just uh, go here, click on Network, and then you have the option to uh, make settings for every adapter. So, you, have, uh, you should have at least one connection which is connected to the internet because you're most likely to have a look at this video at the moment. Then you right click it and go to settings which is in German Eigenschaften. And uh, in this window you have uh, internet protocol version 4. It's TCP IP version 4. You click to settings once again and this is something which might happen to you. One thing is that you've got IP addresses inside here then you should know this IP address for the next steps otherwise if this window looks exactly like mine then you can't see the IP address here because you get an IP address from your router or something else inside your network so how can we find out what IP address we have if it doesn't show here we go to start then we enter CMD for the command line, press enter, and there we have the command line. Now we enter ipconfig with a space, slash, all, and we get all the information to all network interfaces this computer has. So don't wonder, I've got a few more because I'm running a few virtual machines on here. Um, and yes, there it is. It's most likely that it is the biggest entry that you find here. Uh, it starts with a controller ID, the so-called MAC address. And um, in here we've got uh, the, uh, the local IPv6 address. We don't need it. You just have a look at IP4 version 4 address and you know which is here. So now I have the IP address. This PC, which I'm running X-Plane on, has in my network. This is essential for accessing it later. So, I will uh, exactly remember this address. 192.168.7.117 So now we can close this, and if you have opened it here, you can close this, we have all the information we need. We will start explain. We will wait a moment. The computer is loading large scenery files. And I will start in Hamburg, Echo Delta Delta Hotel with a Boeing 777 with a high quality cockpit. We will use real weather and real, real daytime, but uh, it should work with every with every setting of a flight we are waiting a moment the system is loading we are waiting the system is finishing a synchronous loading which is a sign that it is most likely done with loading so now finally after loading we've got our aircraft over here and uh, one thing you have to do uh, to make the MCDU work um, as it should be is uh, look up and then you've got this small little switch over here 
it's the Adiro and um, this one um, activates the system of, a, of the uh, airplane for communicating between different components. Uh, otherwise you will get problems inputting uh, special data like positions for example and you will get errors when you are trying to delete them. So push Adiro on and uh, make sure it is on and uh, now we have uh, the MCDU here in our simulation. But how can we get it on our tablets? Yes, as I already said, enter the IP address you noticed before and append on double point one eight three eight seven, which is the port on which your computer is listening for incoming connections to display the CDU. So you can click on open and there you have it. There you have a complete MCDU and you can use it just like the one in the in the plane itself. You can uh, you can uh, use all these um, all these uh, buttons over here, and it's and it's much better uh, to use than uh, you have uh, to click everything on your mouse. So, um, this was my short tutorial on how to get the remote control of the 777 by Flight Factor running on your iPad. Uh, have a happy flight and see you somewhere in the airways.